Qualcomm Technologies continues to advance 5G and Wi-Fi with a system perspective in terms of the technology, standardization, and product development to develop a rich roadmap of end-to-end -end solutions for private network. For industry and enterprise, we showcase our latest R&D in adaptive operation of 5G private networks with a Qualcomm Edge Wide Suite, a robust service management and orchestration platform so operators can focus on the core business. This video also features innovations which improve the capacity and spectral efficiency of private 5G and Wi-Fi networks. Our latest advances in adaptive operation of 5G private networks leverages our robust service management and orchestration platform, the Qualcomm Edgewise Suite. The adaptive RAN operation feature adapts 5G private network configuration for diverse applications and network conditions. Qualcomm Edgewise Suite features a service management and orchestration platform, or SMO, with a RAN intelligent controller, which runs the adaptive operation feature as an RAP. When the RAP is disabled in our demonstration, the RAN is not aware of the types of traffic being served, and the demanding QoS requirements of an AGV are not met. When enabled, the RAP detects the traffic profiles as matching an AGV and adapts the RAN configuration for it. AGV traffic then meets the required latency for safe operation. Similarly, the Air app can also detect other traffic profiles, like that of an extended reality headset, and adapt RAN configuration to meet its stringent latency requirements. In summary, adaptive RAN operation with a Qualcomm Advice SMO platform can autonomously optimize 5G private networks for a mix of use cases and traffic profiles, easing deployment and operation. 5G private networks can quickly scale coverage and capacity for diverse industry verticals by using 3GPP and ORAN interfaces for disaggregation, network function virtualization, and hardware accelerators. In multi-cell networks, interference from adjacent cells can cause packet errors, and using conservative modulation and coding schemes for more protection reduces spectral efficiency and device capacity. Since air interface capacity varies with fading and interference, more accurate channel estimation and interference prediction unlocks higher efficiencies. Multiple 5G devices operate in a coordinated manner in our live OTA testbed. The channel state information these report is complemented with machine learning intelligence to predict interference and channel capacity more accurately. The 5G RAN research platform at Qualcomm Technologies intelligently schedules transmissions over the dynamic air interface more effectively to achieve higher air interface capacity and spectral efficiency and lower latency from fewer retransmissions. This allows the network to serve more devices efficiently for demanding use cases like mission-critical IoT and extended reality. Multi-access point joint transmission significantly increases multi-user network data throughput in enterprise like Wi-Fi access point deployments over today's single cell multi-user MIMO networks. In our live testbed, we demonstrate for the first time multiple Wi-Fi access points cooperating for joint transmissions using precise over-the-air synchronization for phase, timing, and frequency. The multiple access points effectively act as a single antenna array, enabling a larger number of spatial streams, higher aggregate transmission power, and improved beamforming gains, all of which help to deliver significantly higher network throughput. All four access points in our testbed are within a range that allows for detection of packets from each other, and they use Ethernet for the backhaul data transfer between them. The typical Wi-Fi network today uses multi-user MIMO transmissions that happen one access point at a time, where each access point gains access to the medium using Wi-Fi's CCA mechanism. For an access point with four antennas, typically at most Three spatial streams can be supported in an MU MIMO transmission. Now we activate joint transmission and create synchronized simultaneous transmissions from all access points to all client devices. In our testbed, for four access points with four antennas each, a total of 12 spatial streams can be supported. Using the joint transmission mode results in significant improvement of about 4x of measured network throughput as shown in blue in the chart on the left. 
Additionally, our testbed demonstrates the feasibility of over-the-air synchronization between the access points, which is essential for achieving the significant throughput gains that multi-AP joint transmission offers for Wi-Fi.